What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I got an interesting one for you guys. This woman says she brings feminine inspiration to the table and got ethered. I don't even know what that is. Like, I'm, I'm really interested to see how she spins this and how she rationalized, you know, her bringing that to the table and in comparison to what guys bring to the table i, I really want to see what this is about i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a whole bunch of bs but you never know we'll see what this uh this is all about appreciate all love and support and let's see what this young woman has to say for herself feminine inspiration to the table like kelly Rowland say i'm gonna be your motivation when you come home i'm gonna be in lingerie i'm gonna keep it nice and fresh and waxed for you i'm gonna cook your food Oh, you just got to bring home the basics. That's oh, it. Shit. I don't ask for a lot. Okay. <laughs> I mean. Hmm. So, she going to be, you know, I guess keeping the house cleaned up. She going to be cooking, looking sexy. Okay. That's a feminine inspiration. Uh, That's what she's bringing to the table. I'm going to save my comments for a little bit later on, but let's see uh, what everyone else has to say. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, I got see you. Yeah. I got you, right? God damn. <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's interested. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's interested, yeah, of course. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's crazy. It ain't so, regular. That's what men want, though. I want to know, right? Who want that? So, Chris? Mr. Organic okay. is a high-value guy, right? Right. I want to know, I wanna know if he, from your brother, what do you look for in a woman? So you heard all these answers, right? What do you look for? I mean, yeah, like... Of course, most of them is going to stand on they pretty, they going to fuck you and all that, come home. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. Like, mm -hmm. we get that dime a dozen. Like, a nigga got bread, nigga. I'm 6'6", 230, I'm smooth. I, even without the money, I had every woman I ever wanted. So, like, just because you're going to be at my home when I come there cooking, I don't need that shit. You know? Man, hold on. I got to give this man a round of applause, man. That's what, man. That's what I like to hear. Kings, stand up. Stand up and realize that should not be the thing that keeps you. Oh, you're looking good. You're cooking for me. Oh, you're looking sexy. That's that's what's going to you at my crib. Oh, okay. But that's it. I get that on the street. So what are we doing here? Come on, man. Preach to him. I never needed it. You know what I'm saying? I need a girl that's going to understand what I go through who's going to keep a motherfucker on top of his toes that's going to push and motivate him. You know what I mean? That's also going to come with some ideas. You know Thank what I mean? Be, give me creative criticism on my grind. Thank This is what men, not little boys, this is what men want. This is what we want. Yes, you can have all the the sexiness and the 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 feminine vibes. Oh, that's cool. But at the end of the day, just throwing sex at me is not going to keep a man. There got to be other things that you bring to the table. You got to motivate me. You got to understand what I go through. You got to understand, you know, how, how I'm feeling. You know, give me criticism on what I'm doing and, and trying to elevate me. That is what men want. The sex will always come. But that right there, that's a dime a dozen right there. Woo! You know what I mean? Also, add add to the t to the table. You know what I mean? Not just you. trying to grab some food every time it's, it's filled up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You got to bring something to this table. Thank like, you. Fucking pussy is over with after a certain time. Like, we could, I could fuck any bitch I ever wanted in my life. I always have. That's not appealing to me no more. You know what I mean? Once you get money and once you was already having that, you got to bring more. Your energy got to be right. Facts. Your mind got to be right. Facts. The body don't mean nothing after a while. You know what I'm saying? Nigga will fuck anything, man. Facts. So, like, you could be the bad baddest too. bitch in the world. Yes. That's fine. Nigga gonna have you, and I'm gonna fuck a bitch, motherfucker, a two and a three. And nigga will do that. Yes. It happens all the time. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z had Beyonce, he still fuck some other pussy. How can you beat that? Because he would just want some new pussy on his car. So, that ain't nothing, man. It's your energy, it's your mind, what you're bringing to man. help me grow. That was gonna help us grow. That what counts. Yeah, preach, brother. Yeah. Preach. preach. But Absolutely. a bad bitch brings inspiration nah, that you not will to no, not, not to get. no real nigga that are thank what is she get her out of here get her out of here what is she talking about a bad bitch brings inspiration no it fucking don't no it don't no just because you the baddest in your block don't mean you're gonna inspire me to do better no no you are not my inspiration i'm sorry 
to these young kids, these young men that haven't got it yet, they, they're learning about life, maybe to them, oh, I got I to gotta grind so I can get her. No, grind for yourself. Work for yourself. Educate yourself for you, not to, to please a woman. No. Oh, because she look good. Who went kicked out of my show, bro? Yeah. Already had that. If you got a fat, lame, rich nigga that need all, that, I just want a bad bitch. That nigga, he's a square. Mm -hmm. He's a nobody. Facts. But a nigga that been sufficient his whole life and got every girl he wanted, what is a bad bitch doing for me? That's nothing. We always had that. What you bringing more than just being a bitch? It's a, all, it's a million bad bitches walking this earth. Yes. That's the cheapest and most easiest thing to get for a nigga got some money is a bitch. Yes. A pussy. Yes. Bam. You go to like I said, you go to Brazil right now. It's gonna be a ten thousand bad bitch you've seen in your life. You get them bitches one dollar and a coffee, and that bitch gonna lick your meat, man. That ain't work. That's worthless to a real nigga, man. Right. You gotta Bye. be a fat, slow brain, regular ass nigga that finally got some money to mm -hmm. be imposed. And I got oh, I got a bad bitch. Like, come on, man. No. Like that's a different type of breed of human that get they they rock soft to that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I get it. Y'all get your money now. Go get all them niggas. Yeah, and get them. Like me, that shit is like it's nothing. Get them, man. We got our energy's got to be connected. You know what I'm saying? We got to we got to grow together. Fast. That's the most important. So thing. you'll take a basic bitch that is somebody that you want to talk to over a bad bitch that will inspire you. So you consider yourself a bad bitch? No, yeah, I do actually. So you above basic? Well, you don't work. You don't have no attributes. <laughs> Come on, King! Come on! Flame these harlots out here, man. Like, what are you, bro? Oh my God, bro. To the table here. Like, what I are we talking about? I do have attributes. I'm, like a, I'm, a, I'm, I inspire my men. How? You don't got no job. You got what's your education? <laughs> Listen, what's, when, what's your but you have to no. But you have to realize that when men make it to a certain level, right. they're not checking for a woman's education. They're not. When you're ch when you're making millions of dollars, you don't care about a woman's education. Yes, you do. Talk to plenty of rich men. I do. I Look, I'm gonna keep it a stat. I ain't trying to date no bimbo. I don't care how much money I make. I want you to know something for yourself. I want you to grind for yourself. Perfect example. And I'm not sure if Dub's going to see this. If you do, shout out to you, Dub. Dub and Nisha. I have met them. You know, well, I met Nisha uh, years later after, you know, found out they was in a relationship, got married, all this other stuff. I'm not going to go too deep into their business, but I'm making a point here. Nisha, if you guys know anything about her, they, you know what I'm saying? She may not express it, but she is solid. She goes and gets her own. She doesn't have a pro she doesn't have a problem, you know what I'm saying, making sure she makes money for herself, for the family that she has with Dub. She's not one of them type of women that sits up there and tries to eat off of Dub no matter how much money he makes because she's always had that sense of pride of, I'm going to make it myself regardless. And Dub respects her for that. And that's why their marriage is where it is. And I respect them and I love them. Uh, love them, man, because I love to see that. That's why I'm happy for Dub because he does have a good woman that is not blinded by the money. All she cares about is making sure her family good, making sure Dub is good. And she going to go get it regardless. Even if Dub may not have it at the time, she got his back. It's not all about, oh, well... It doesn't really matter if you're rich. Yeah, it do. It does matter because I don't want to be sharing my life and growing with someone and all they really care about is the money. What happens if the money run out? Then what? If there's anything I know about Nisha, she going to stand by Dub no matter what. And I love to see that. And that is the type of relationship that needs to be put on the forefront instead of these. Oh, well, I got all the money, so she ain't going nowhere. Like, nah, that. To me, that's cringe. You feel me? So, shout out to Dub and Nisha, man. Definitely go subscribe to uh, their channel if you haven't. I know they're going to be posting more videos soon. So, definitely go subscribe to their channel, man. They are they are a dope couple to see. And, and it's obviously something that I inspire to have one day in the future, man. So, yeah. I'm a rich man. I got a estate in Malibu. Okay, an two estate? acres. Yes. Oh, I would acres. like to see the paperwork. Okay, we can show you paperwork. <laughs> go ahead and show, show me the title. To, we gotta show a paperwork to somebody that got no paper. That would be <laughs> so what? Who are you, bimbo? Show me the show me the paperwork. Why the hell would I lie to you?
What the fuck do I get out of life? I'm not even trying to fuck you. I ain't trying to do nothing with you. What do you mean? Show the paperwork. I want to see. I show you the paperwork. Then what? It still don't matter. You still not getting the point. Oh, boy, man. Ooh, we couldn't have been on that show. Couldn't have been on that paperwork. <laughs> Can he pull, pull up, up the deed? deed? Yeah. Can you put you up your car? You don't even know what a deed is. You don't even know what a deed is. What deed got? you got? What deed you got? A deed to the. You ready? Come on, man. Oh my God. <laughs> you, got, you got a little residue underneath your nose, man, baby. You need to certify it. Oh, bro, she is. Bro, she. You know the the argument is lost when she start when she starts trying to pull up. You don't know what a deed is. What do you? Bro, you don't even know this man like that. What are you talking about? Because you getting flamed. Because you don't bring nothing to the table except feminine inspiration. Whatever the fuck that is. He's you know certified. But, uh, but I get but, what you're saying. I get, I get what you're saying. Though. Yeah. She yeah. fucking with loser, fat, old niggas got money. I get it. Nah, don't negative. But when you're, when, seriously, There's when no you reach you a certain level. nobody le efficient When you, you reach a certain level, you don't care if that girl works as a bottle girl. You don't care if this it girl has matter. a job. We like, you don't that. care. We gotta have somebody got some smarts, already, though. Because you already. We can already, tell you ain't got no smarts. Like, we got somebody with some brains. It ain't about just want to suck my dick all the time. The energy needs <laughs> to be matched. We need, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's bigger than but just. But you're saying because she doesn't have a job or work, she can't match your energy? It don't matter. What's all right, I'm back. Uh, I was having some issues with my memory card. It was full, but cleared up some space. So we can check out the rest of this video. Definitely, I'm enjoying this right now. It's, it's, it's I, bigger than but just... But you're saying because she doesn't have a job or work, it don't she matter. can't match we, we, your energy? It don't matter. I'm talking about you personally on the but educational But you don't know term. me personally. I can tell you, you ain't got no brain. <laughs> In corporate finance. You what are you talking? So yes, why are you not baby? employed now? Because I don't want to be. So you want to be a slave to a man with some money? Well... I think I bring the wow. inspiration to the table. Wow, bro. Look, man. Shout out to my king in this video. He held it down for us men out here. And I loved it. I'm going to keep it a stack with you. I don't know what type of bullshit she was talking about. But I'm going to be honest. That shit don't impress men like me. I'm sorry. You being at the crib looking all sexy and, and you know, wanting to have sex with me. That's cool. But you got to bring something else to the table. I'm sorry. Only real men want someone that's going to bring something to the table outside of sex. Because you can have sex with anybody else. Sex don't keep men. I want women to understand this. Having a sexy body, considering yourself a baddie, is not going to keep a man. What's going to keep a man is what you do to elevate him. What else do you bring to the table? What You know, how you motivate him through other means other than sexual like motivating him to be better, having his back, supporting his dreams. Because if a man really cares about you, he going to support your dreams too. So, I don't know, man. Don't know what the hell she talking about, but I'm definitely rocking with what my guy was saying. So, comment down below. Let me know. Have you guys ever been in a situation with a chick and the only thing she brought to the table was sex? And how did you deal with that? With was that something that kept you around or did it get tiresome for you and you wanted you wanted something different wanted more let me know i want to get your thoughts and opinions on this and see if a lot of you fellas agree with my sentiments here but i appreciate all love and support road to 60k appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace